Santiago BBMC, and to government of its homeland, Honduras. The Black Rum is responsible for multiple terrorist attacks on the outer bands of Santiago BGMC, and starting deadly street wars with other ethnic gangs by helping another brutal insurgency that has affiliations with the group, the ETA Tribes Cartel, which also put the Black Rum behind the plot that caused a widespread war in South Armando BGMC to Santiago BGMC Strip, that took thousands of lives, until then. The war rage increase intensive ever since they day took place. The Black Rum even tried to make another 9-11 attack happen by threatening to bring down a passenger jet on the BUF headquarters, and plan to do a bombing on the BGMC United Nations headquarters. The army overpowered the Black Rum twice, but the Black Rum outsmart them in many ways, and the top priority of the Black Rum was, no matter if they were American, Latin, European, or Mediterranean, they had to be Latin or Latin American. They also have to have their faces covered with a bandana or ski mask to hide their identity. The Black Rum has a history of being a betrayal of top national security enforcements in the coast of South Armando BGMC Pales, Black Egal, BUF. During that time period there were anti-governments that didn't believe that law enforcement such as the BUF could not handle international ethnic crimes. Being said, people started to get fed up with the infinite lies comes from corrupt governments. That's when the BUF started to crumble. Officers were being laid off by the government and people started to blame the president of the enforcement. That the president did not stop this sooner. One lie took thousands of well-trained officers' rankings and track levels. No officer on the force gotten a reputation of their hard work by fighting crime due to the attacks by corrupt governments worldwide. That's when the new fascists began. The Black Rum started as a movement for equal rights. For the Women's Amendment, the Black Rum was supporting the Women's Amendment to get their voices heard. The Black Rum movement can also be considered as a columnist's party in some narratives. The Black Rum can be known for a lot of positive things. Until everything changed, the Black Rum was no longer the Black Rum they knew. An evil fearful man rose up on shore with a hated ideology than white supremacy. This man is heir to be your true almighty savior. DeFalco Oli, aka the anti god of extremists. DeFalco was an active that supports multi ethnic groups or rebel fighting militias that are allies with Al Qaeda or ISIS. And the only time when people knew about the Black Rum's betrayal was a few weeks later after the war massacre in South Armando and Santiago BGMC Strip. People were outraged and calling for a war on terrorism. It was a full month of looting and protesting on the streets, and things were just getting to violent. Some started to form their own militant groups to join the fight against terrorists to save their homeland from its poisonous. But in reality, the mayor and the president is calling for peace, and the war rage fall on its tune. Between gangs, and terrorists, and the Black Rum Liberation Front will still fight for their generation. The Black Rum Liberation Organization will be everybody's prey for the slaughter of millions. Signed by the War Rage.